Hello the internet, Chris here and welcome to another card showcase for Venkfi TCG. Today is a double bonus episode that I will be revealing two cards. So just before I get into this, uh, what I have ended up doing on some of the cards is being able to crop down certain aspects of the card to create a second card which ties into the first card, sort of. You'll understand as this video goes on what I'm actually talking about. So today's card is Amara. Now this isn't the finalised card, There are uh, I've actually enlarged Amara so uh, she fills up more of the card. Uh, I did. I think I mentioned that in a video previously, um, or it was uh, an unboxing uh, when I opened the uh, early access pack. So I've enlarged Amara uh, to about this, this proportion of her, and um, yeah this is a support card, she's a minion, well she's a technically yeah, a minion but classed as a minion support card because she doesn't actually have an attack so um, we've got one on the gold uh, so she's extremely cheap you know you could play five of these per turn that is a dangerous combination actually because if you okay this is this is a, this is a very good tactic I'm actually going into now right now because I didn't even think of that um, because this is a common card you can have unlimited common cards in your um, in your deck it, you can have uh, unlimited commons, up to two rares of the same type. So if the Amara was a rare card, you could only have two Amaras, and uh, legendary one to the purple. So as it's green, you could have unlimited of these. So if you had five of these down on the board, technically with the ability of Liquid Luck, you would any attack would automatically hit. In theory, actually, in practice, that these are the rules, you know, that's the ability. Um, the more Amaras you have on the board, the more your dice rolls are actually reduced. So, damn, I've actually created a fairly powerful support card here, which I didn't even think about until recording this video. So, that's yeah, that, so yeah, let's just uh, just think about that for a second. So, let's just go back. So, we've got Amara, one gold, that might end up being increased now. 3 HP, so she's fairly low, or I might drop that to 2, uh, just because if you have got a couple of these on the board, like I just said, the ability Liquid Luck or Friendly Dice Rolls are reduced by 1. So if you've got a couple of these on your back line, then your front line is going to be fairly strong. Okay, so yeah, that, that's Amara. She is a, a barmaid. Sorry, I didn't go into that. Um, and yeah, um, I like this art, it's, it's very good. We haven't got that many female uh, heroes within the game at the moment. There are three, four, I think. So we could do with getting a few more females in. Um, but yeah, the artwork's really cool. Like I said, I've enlarged it, so it's just mainly the uh, the torso, uh, from like the torso. But yeah, this is Amara. And now the second card I was able to create from this was just to take the uh, the flag and a veil here and turn that into a second card which is the support card so you can you play this and then you discard it straight away after you've played it and it's two gold so the ability for this is deliver a strong L to an opponent's minion they must roll a d6 3 plus so 3 plus on the dice to attack or defend successfully and this a d6 sobers them up so this is this, so this is a bit of a compli this needs rewording actually before uh, you know I just pulled this card at random to uh, to show today and um, yeah so basically here we have deliver a strong ale to an opponent's minion they must roll a three plus on the dice this is before their attack or before their defense to attack or defend successfully so you roll the dice once if it's more than three you can attack with that minion um, it's own only for for unlimited turns I suppose and then uh, d6 sobers them up so yeah this needs reworking a lot actually so this is a bit of a bum video but it, it just shows that sometimes you have an idea for something and it doesn't work out quite as well as you wanted so yeah this will probably be re reworded um, so it makes a lot more sense so deliver a strong L to an opponent's minion they must roll a d6 3 plus to attack or defend successfully if they roll a 6 they sober up that makes slightly more sense um, reading the card a couple of times so yeah that's um, it's a powerful card actually it's, it's another one of those cards 
that might need the gold increasing because you could potentially there's a 50 50 chance of that your opponent's minion actually attacking and you have to roll that every turn so in theory if you were to give get a dragon drunk on strong ale drag some of the dragons do have a very high uh, dice roll to attack and uh, if they're drunk then <laughs> um, it's it's yeah okay I've got, I've got to think into this a little more this is why I like doing these videos because I get to look back at these cards that I've probably created like six months ago and think you know what that actually needs a little tweaking um, so yeah we will do that I think I'll, I will probably do another video of the update of this card because I'll come up with something a little uh, a little better a little more fair and balanced I think well yeah this is what I mean about taking like images uh, taking the image and um, like using it again um, Amara isn't the only card I've done it with Greytail the rat I've done it with Crossrog I've done it with Nahum um, because uh, if you remember Nahum is holding a like a scroll so he's got a card which is um, I think it's called Prophecy and Crossrog's is because he's a Cyclops his other card is Eye of Clarity and Greytail is I think it's beggars something or other let me just let me just go and check we'll, we'll extend this video uh, just bear with me right so I've just loaded these up and then so this is part of Nahum um, prophecy scroll so it's another support card so you discard it as soon as you've used it look at the top three cards of your deck and keep one card return the two remaining cards to the bottom of your deck so that's uh, that's a very good card to play uh, Crossrog's Eye of Clarity um, with increased focus, you'll have to see and attack any hidden minion. Gain plus two bonus damage against one hidden minion this turn. Um, so you would play that, and then whichever minion you want to attack with will get a plus two bonus against hidden. Um, it's kind of like if there was a, a meta, so to, so to speak, with hidden uh, minions, then this is a card that would uh, do well to counteract uh, a lot of hidden uh, minions and then this is uh, again part of um, Grey Tail uh, his, his hands and this is called Beggar's Lie your opponent takes pity on you roll d6 and minus 2 from the roll so the maximum of 4 you can get in this the result is how much gold they must give you uh, this doesn't cost anything so having a few of these you can actually kind of bankrupt your enemy um, with beggar's lie and the reason why I put the minus two in here was because if you were taking six gold off your enemy every turn that's a little it's a little harsh um, so it was the d6 minus two so the maximum you can take is four which means you know you get five gold every turn they're at least getting one gold piece so yeah that's beggar's lie higher clarity uh, profit scroll and strong ale. There is one more as well called War Paint, but I haven't revealed the character art behind that yet. But I will do. So this video has gone on for quite a while. It's been a bit of a ramble. Um, I probably do need to work on the text and the ability for strong ale, um, even if it's just uh, your opponent's minion must roll d6 three plus, um, or is drunk for one turn. You know that's fair. That's more fair than having them having to sober up or try and roll a six to sober up so that will probably change yeah so this has been Amara, Strong Ale, Prophet Scroll, Eyes of Clarity and Beggar's Lie this is one two three four five cards you've seen today which is a bonus because I, I've been away for a while so until the next one I've been Chris this is Mindfire Games Amara has your back she'll give you liquid luck and I'll catch you in the next one toodle pip Chris here again thank you for making it to the end of the video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, comment down below on what you like, and I uh, will catch you in the next one for some more awesome stuff, some homemade trading card games, some more board games, and some other stuff in between as well. You're really great, and I appreciate you viewing this channel. I'll catch you in the next one.